if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about sewage treatment and BOD. BOD, that is biological oxygen demand. And we also said that in the next part, we'll take up the relationship between BOD and dissolved oxygen. So this is what we are going to start with. Biological oxygen demand is the amount of oxygen which is required to completely decompose organic matter and this oxygen is required by the microorganisms and that is why we are calling it biological and the demand is of oxygen so oxygen demand because this breakdown of organic matter is aerobic breakdown. So if we take an example or a situation Say there is a water body and in this water body we are trying to assess how this relationship is taking place between biological oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen. Suppose this is the direction in which the water is flowing. Direction of flow of water. So it is a water body and water is flowing in a particular direction. And here we will write down the concentration. Assuming that this water body is clean, there is no organic matter in this. So in this water body, dissolved oxygen is going to be very high. So suppose this is the level for dissolved oxygen. And because there is no or very, very less organic matter, then those microbes would not demand that much, that much oxygen for decomposition. So biological oxygen demand is going to be very low. So this level indicates BOD, very low level of biological oxygen demand. So this water is pure. It is considered good. It is considered fit for consumption. Now, say at this level, there is organic matter which gets added suppose sewage gets dumped into this water body at this level so sewage as soon as sewage gets added now this is organic matter which is coming into the water body so now what will happen to decompose this organic matter the microbes they would now require more oxygen now this uh, sewage organic matter is the nutrient for these microbes. So now there is plenty of nutrient available. So the microbes are going to multiply. More the microbes, more the oxygen they require for decomposing. So here biological oxygen demand is going to increase. And this oxygen which is taken by these microbes is actually the oxygen which is present as dissolved oxygen. So now the level of dissolved oxygen is going to go down. So this means higher the biological ox uh, BOD, lower is DO. So here we can write higher the BOD, lower is DO or vice versa. Now, as the direction of flow of water is indicated here, so over a period of time, these microbes are going to decompose the organic matter. So after a certain distance, most of the organic matter will get decomposed. So now when organic matter gets decomposed over a period of time, so for some time BOD is going to remain, sorry, B, OD is going to remain very high and dissolved oxygen is going to remain very low. But if this river or this water flows for a long distance, then most of the organic matter would get decomposed. So as organic matter becomes less and less in the water body because most of it got decomposed. So then what is going to happen is the biological oxygen demand will start coming down 
and the oxygen which is present in the water body it will stay in the water body and that will be the dissolved oxygen so it will come back to its original uh, concentration so as soon as the organic matter is added dissolved oxygen decreases biological oxygen demand increases and bod is going to remain high till the organic matter is not completely decomposed once the organic matter gets completely decomposed that demand is going to again decline and the oxygen which is dissolved in the water that will remain in water so its concentration will increase so again it will come back to the original concentration and here again we will say that this water is free of organic matter so it is like it was in the beginning before this sewage was dumped into the water body so this is the relationship between biological oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen now let us also talk about uh, another important term associated with water pollution and that is called algal bloom now this algal bloom is nothing but increased amount of uh, algae in water body now why is this algae going to grow or why is the growth increasing in the water body is because of the nutrients so if water gets enriched by nutrients so if these nutrients get added in the water body this will result in increased growth of algae in that water and most of the algae which we are talking about are the planktons so these are phytoplanktons and as these phytoplanktons their number increases the surface of the water starts to appear greenish and these algae they are going to use oxygen use of oxygen increases this oxygen which they are using is again the dissolved oxygen now if algae uses most of the dissolved oxygen that means now less oxygen is available for the other aquatic organisms so less oxygen is available for other aquatic organisms and if the other aquatic organisms which can be other plants like submerged plants or animals then it would result in their death so these aquatic organisms will start to die their dead bodies would add into the water and dead bodies getting added into water is nothing but organic matter which is get, getting added into this so this water will have more and more organic matter more and more alga growing there and this would result into a stink a particular type of stink is uh, felt whenever we pass by such kind of water bodies so the sequence is there is little more nutrient which is coming into the water body as soon as the nutrient is there the algal growth starts more and more algae that means they would require more and more oxygen if they take more oxygen less oxygen is available to other aquatic organisms other aquatic organisms they die death of other organisms aquatic organisms and this results in increase in organic matter and the same thing that is this bod is going to increase do is going to decrease but wherever there is algal bloom in the water body you would always find that the surface is greenish that water appears as if there is some alga or some green thing growing on the surface because these are the phytoplankton and they normally remain floating on the surface of the water 
and whenever you pass by that water body there is a very bad smell so we say this water body normally stinks so that results or that complete phenomena is known as algal bloom so we have seen the relationship between bod and dissolved oxygen and we have also talked about algal bloom now in the next part we'll talk about two more important things one is eutrophication another is biomagnification